just keep winning them, don't you? Guess what? <laughs> when does it well, mean? But he, he's the one that took, he and Dr. Barker are the ones that took such good care of my wife. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This April 4, 2016 meeting of the Cumberland County Commissioners will now come to order. At this time, I'd like to call on Commissioner Jimmy Key for our invocation and Pledge of Allegiance, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. If we could stand, please. trusted us as stewards of your creation. Please guide our hearts and make our decisions soundly. We seek you first in all we do together, and we give you our business, our customers, our clients, our citizens, and our staff for the workforce. May you always be mindful of their service. We understand that we are nothing without you, and our trust is in you completely. Please protect us, our families, our loved ones. Stand beside our soldiers and first responders and all law enforcement. Guide us to do your will. In your name we pray, amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, thanks, <laughs> on this beautiful morning, we'll begin uh, with some recognitions, and this time I will call on uh, Vice Chairman Glenn Adams uh, for a couple of those. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> It is 
always a pleasure to stand before the citizens of uh, Cumberland County. But today is even uh, a greater privilege because we're going to recognize and thank some of our uh, employees who have given to this county uh, for years of service. So first, I'd like to recognize Ms. Myrtle Ashwell. If you come forward. She's not here today? Come right on up. <clears throat> We've got Ms. Brenda Jackson and her supervisor for Ms. Uh, Aswell. She uh, has, it says, in recognition of outstanding service to the citizens of Cumberland County from September 28, 1992 to February 1, 2016 from the Cumberland County Board of Commissioners dated April 4, 2016, and she was in economic services, and we'd like to thank her for her years of service. We, I know you would deliver that to her. Yes, we would. And so we get a picture right here. I like the picture. <laughs> 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 pretty good. Miss Julia Stansel. Come right around, Miss Stansel. Ms. Stansel was in children's services, and so, you know, the one thing that's always dear into our hearts are our children, so we want to thank you for uh, your years of service and for uh, getting ready to retire. And uh, you were smiling back there. I told you we weren't going to let you go, and you said, yeah, believe that if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> and this is presented to Julia Stansel. Uh, again, it reads, uh, Cumberland County Department of Social Services in recognition of outstanding services to the citizens of Cumberland County. October the 4th, 1989, to January 1st, 2016, and that's from the Cumberland County Board of Commissioners, dated April 4th, 2016. Your supervisors are here. Uh, they were crying back there. I gave them a little bit of tissue. Uh, Y'all come right on around. This is yours. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Ray Hamilton. Thank you. No, they don't. <laughs> Janine Breeden Wilson. <laughs> and she was with Economic Services with the uh, uh, Cumberland County Department of Social Services, and we want to thank you for all your years of service uh, to the citizens of Cumberland County. And this is presented to Janine Breeden Wilson. Cumberland County Department of Social Services, in recognition of outstanding services to the citizens of Cumberland County, September the 18th, 1989, to January 1st, 2016, from the Cumberland County Board of Commissioners, April 4th, uh, 2016. Congratulations. Y'all come forth and you'd like to shake your hand and thank you for your service. Now for a couple of other recognitions of uh, retired county employees, uh, call on Commissioner Jimmy Keith. Hey, good morning. As uh, Commissioner uh, Adams said earlier, you know, Sometimes we get caught in a lot of the boring and mundane stuff, but this is always really the, one of the greatest things that we can do is recognize all the service that we do because I've always considered being able to be in public service a, a real honor because you get to touch the people's lives in such different ways. And today we're going we're gonna to recognize some people from a lot of different areas that have touched different lives in different ways. So the first one is um, a person from public health, but I don't think they're here. Teresa? is not here, okay? But the second one has touched some lives in different ways, and it's kind of funny, it's, it's uh, Peggy Spencer. 
Peggy worked at a detention center. <laughs> so she may have touched lives in different ways. Come on over here. <laughs> <laughs> but all service is important, Peggy. So uh, this reads, Peg Peggy Spencer, presented to Peggy Spencer, Cumberland County Detention Center, in recognition for outstanding service to the citizens of Cumberland County. June 2nd, 1988 to January 1st, 2016, from the Cumberland County Board of Commissioners, dated April 4th, 2016. Thank you for what you did. I know there was a lot of work sometimes and it was trying, but I hope it was gratifying for you. Can we get a picture with you? talked about how Peggy touched lives and this next next person has touched so many lives um, well she, she knows about all the births all the deaths all the transactions everything that happened probably knows more about most of us than any of us ever know or she has a file that you could find it in uh, this is somebody who's been very dear to me for a long long time I've known this person for uh, longer than we'd both like to admit probably, but we both came from the same side of the river, North Fayetteville, Pine Forest people. But um, I, there's, a, there's so many stories about Pam that I only have a little bit of time, and Marshall has said this should be a short meeting, but I could easily take up more time telling stories about Pam. But um, there, there's a story about Pam in the Registered Deeds Office that whenever she said, I hate to get technical, but what that really meant is, I'm getting ready to be a real pain in your rump. And that was sort of code for that. Lee Warren used to always talk about, you know, he had met people with OCD, and you've heard this before. Uh, but but he, he claimed that uh, Pam had CDO, which was OCD just in the proper order, in the proper place every time she had it. So that helped out a lot with keeping things straight out there. And uh, let's see, used to be a Duke fan? Used to be. Well, I thought I heard it was another man that changed that. <laughs> Until she met a, a guy that played a little bit of, or coached a little bit of basketball named Dean Smith and has all of a sudden become the, one of the biggest Carolina. What are you doing tonight? <laughs> so, Pam, I don't want to embarrass you at all, but I want you to know personally from me to you how much I appreciate everything you've done for this county. So, we've got a plaque for you, and I'd like for you to come up. It says, presented to Pamela Stoltz. Cumberland County Register of Deeds in recognition for outstanding service to the citizens of Cumberland County, January 5th, 1987 to January 1st, 2016, from the Cumberland County Board of Commissioners, April 4th, 2016. Thank you so much. Would you like some of your, your would, you like some, would you like to bring up some of your crew? My work family. Your work family? <laughs> All right, we're going to come back in here. <laughs> Come on, work family. Come on in here.
and we're not through yet. One thing we love to do is recognize people that have given and given and given to our county and, our, and its citizens. And when they're recognized, not only by us, but from those outside the community for, for things they've done, we're especially proud. And we like to uh, take the opportunity to recognize them once again inside. And uh, this time, our recognition is for uh, Lisa Childers. Would you come forward, please? The uh, Cumberland County, I'm going to read this because it's long, okay? It's the Cumberland County Cooperative Extension Director Lisa Childers has received the Carol Burkhead Outstanding County Extension Director Award in recognition of, the leadership, of her leadership, citizenship, and contributions to the county. The statewide award was presented to the Childers recently at the North Carolina Cooperative Extension Annual Conference. But we had a rep replica over here, don't we? Now, this is the real deal. We didn't make another one. Uh, <laughs> But uh, she was nominated by, by her staff, peers, volunteers, and county administration. The award was created in memory of former Hope County Extension Director Carol Burkhead and on, two honored directors for outstanding service and achievement. In 2006, Lisa received the Lois Britt Outstanding Extension Agent Award while working as a family and consumer sciences agent in, Har in Harnett County. We stole her from Harnett, I forgot about that. Lisa has been Cumberland County's Extension Director since 2010, after previously serving as Harnett County Extension Director. The Fable native is a graduate of Southview High School. She earned a bachelor's degree from Campbell University in 1999 and a master's degree in agricultural and extension education at NC State University in 2005. That explains it all. <laughs> <laughs> that explains everything. Lisa, this time we salute you. Once again, in front of you, Pierce, Thank you. I'd just like to thank the county management team, the county commissioners, uh, my staff, and also uh, my family. My husband's here today. He surprised me because um, it does take a lot of family support to uh, do the job that I do, and it also takes the support of you all uh, and my staff. So thank you for um, helping me earn this award. Thank you. I've asked Lisa, y'all can sit down, can I? I've asked Lisa to stay up here with me for a moment because we've got to recognize one of her staff. Uh, Liz Lottie, would you come up, please? Cooperative Extension Livestock Agent Liz Lottie was one of nine of the cooperative, nine in the Cooperative Extension Services South Central Regional District to receive the Grange Search for Excellence Award for their efforts to support North Carolina Farm School and Military Farm School. The Search for Excellence Award promotes and identifies professional excellence within all facets of the NC Cooperative Extension Service. The North Carolina Farm School is an outreach program for farmers or prospective farmers to teach them about farming, marketing, and the business of farms. The program also helps military veteran, veterans or those who are about to separate from military duty to enter agriculture. Liz, Liz, excuse me. This time we present you with this award, and uh, Lisa, you come up and stand by me. On the, well, stand on the other side of me. Put it in the middle. There you go. You're the, you're the tallest. Thank you for your service. Thank you. We'll shake hands before those fellow here. Thank you. Okay, we'll get down to business. Item number one, Ms. Cannon. 
Yes, sir. Item number one is approval of the agenda. No changes at this time. Okay, what's the pleasure of the board? Move, move for with. approval. Second. Moving second. Any discussion? All in favor? Unanimous. Okay. Item number two is the consent agenda. Do I hear a motion? Move to approve. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? All in favor? Unanimous. Okay. Item number three is nominations to boards and committees. Okay, we've got, first of all, the Adult, adult Care Home Community Advisory Committee. Community, committee. <laughs> there are six vacancies. Do I hear a motion? Or do I actually, do I hear nominations? I'd like to. Take three all of them? Yeah. Um, Gary Blackwell, Harry Sub, um, Laura Hardy, Monica Russell, Don O'Donnell, Eva Moore, and Lily White, please. Okay, that's it. That's Further it. nominations? That's six. Okay, we'll close that's those six. nominations. Okay, Joint Senior Citizens Advisory Committee, there are two vacancies. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, we reckon, uh, nominate uh, Igna Cogdale and Willie Wright. Uh, they're both eligible for reappointment. Okay. okay, are there further nominations? <coughs> Okay, we'll close those nominations. Okay, the uh, next item is appointments to boards and committees. Mr. Vice Chairman. Uh, Mr. Chairman, there are equal number of uh, nominations as for vacancies. So for the Cumberland mm -hmm. County Workforce Development Board, uh, John Jones, uh, Charlie, Cro well, for representative of business, Charlie Cross, uh, Charlene Cross, for representative of workforce, and Pamela Gibson for representation of education and training. Uh, we nominate those. Second. Okay. Uh, I could do all of them. Uh, yeah, People go ahead. and review board, there were four vacancies. Uh, they were all, um, three were subject to reappointment. Uh, and uh, the appraisal position, Douglas Stevens III, at the at-large positions, Curtis Alexander, Harvey Rainer II, and industrial uh, position, William Holland. Uh, for the Mid-Carolina Aging uh, Advisory Committee, the nominee for the Veteran Hospital Representative, Senavia George. I will second. Move they, uh, okay, it's been moved and seconded that we appoint these by acclamations or discussion. If not all in favor? Unanimous. Okay. Anything else to come before this August body today? Move, move to adjourn. Okay, second. Okay, been moved and seconded. All in favor? Unanimous. Mm -hmm.